welcome back to my kitchen. Smash the like button and subscribe. Today I'm going to be trying Ina Garten's brownies. We'll see how they come out. Um, they're supposed to be wonderful. I've never made them before, so we'll see what kind of a process this is. So stay tuned. Hope it's not a fail. We have an adjustment before we get started. It makes a huge amount, a huge tray of brownies. So my husband and I, we're not going to eat that many brownies because otherwise it'll all go to my hips. So I'm cutting the recipe in half, but I'm going to link down below the full recipe for you, a link to the Food Network channel, I think it is, and it'll show you exactly how to make a full batch, but I'm not making a full batch. It's way too many brownies for me and my husband. For the first part of this, you're going to put the butter, the semi-sweet chocolate chips, and the unsweetened chocolate right in this bowl, and we're going to melt it like in a double boiler. I'm going to put the bowl over this pot of water once it boils. While the water boils, I'm going to grease and flour the cookie sheet that I'm using. You want to use a cookie sheet that has a little bit of a lip. And like I said, my cookie sheet is going to be a lot smaller than what you're going to make. I'm cutting this recipe in half. So I have my cookie sheet floured. may need to tap some of that flour off. might be a little too much. The eggs, I'm going to put in vanilla and then the sugar. As you can see, the sugar is added and I'm just going to mix it up. You don't want to beat it, just mix it, the recipe says. So here it is all mixed up. So in this bowl we're going to sift, I already put in the salt, the baking powder, and the flour. And we're just going to sift it through my new sifter here. This is from the dollar store. We'll see how good it works. So as you see that worked out good. So now all we need to do is wait for the chocolate to melt. Ina Garten's recipe. Everybody says it's fabulous. We'll see how my husband and I like it. And I'll give you an honest review because usually my husband likes box Betty Crocker brownies. So I'm hoping he likes these. As you can see, most of the chocolate's already melted. There's a few chunks in there. So I'm going to melt that and then it has to cool. Okay, so the chocolate is melted. That's in that bowl. Then we have the egg mixture with the sugar and the vanilla. Then we have the flour and the baking powder and salt. And then this is the chips. You coat them with flour. There you're gonna add it to the mix when I'm done. And you coat them with flour so they don't sink to the bottom. So, I'm going to not throw in all that flour. I'm going to take it, the chips and see how much flour is left. So, and I think the hand strainer would work great with that. So, I've just poured my chocolate into the eggs. So, that's all mixed up and we're going to add the flour. As you can see, the flour is all incorporated. Now, these are the chips we're going to add. If you want walnuts, in your brownies, which we do not, you would coat them with flour also. My husband really doesn't like walnuts. I sort of like them sometimes, so I usually don't put them in. So if you want them, this is the time that you coat them with flour so they don't sink to the bottom and put them in. Of course I told my husband these were called Ina's Outrageous Brownies, and he said they better be good. So. I'm sure he'll like them, but let's get going with the process. We're going to pour it into the pan. This is part of the process that I really don't get. I usually use an 8x8 or a 13x8 pan to cook my brownies, but it says to do it on a cookie sheet like this. 
So we're going to try it. Here's my pan of brownies. I put it in and it's spread out to the corners. And this is for half a recipe. As you see, I floured the bottom so they don't stick. And we'll see how they come out. As you can see here, this is a thinner brownie. It's not that thick. So use a 13 by nine pan. It'll come out thicker. And mine was dirty and I didn't want to wash it. So you got me. The brownies are delicious. They're wonderful. This is a great recipe if you have time to melt the chocolate. And it doesn't take that much time. I imagine you could even melt in your microwave. Hit the th every 30 seconds, melt it, stir it, put it back in. And it would be quicker that way. But these are nice, rich, decadent brownies. You have to try it. Give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.